Do they also look at their sky and think, we can't be alone? The distances are so great that even if they looked directly at us, they'd see the Earth as it was before humans ever existed. We call this the cosmic horizon, a limit not of imagination, but of light itself. There's a boundary to what we can see because light takes time to travel. Beyond that line, the universe continues, silently expanding into realms we'll never reach. But maybe that's what makes existence beautiful, that some mysteries are meant not to be solved, but to be felt. The more we learn, the more questions appear, like stars emerging in the dusk of understanding. Ignorance shrinks, wonder expands. The ancient philosophers used to say, to know the world, first know yourself. But perhaps the opposite is also true. To truly know yourself, you must first look outward, because the universe is not a backdrop, it's a mirror. When you stare into deep space, you're seeing the past, 